Hey, welcome back, everybody. I uh, recently released uh, Beta 7 for uh, Linux Hub Prime uh, yesterday, and I got a comment on there saying that uh, they had some issues with the open box uh, ISO builder. So we're going to go ahead and run through open box and get a customized respan going. So I'm responding to this uh, comment right here from Media Magica 5010. Yes, tried the same. Installation of the open box desktop environment went well. Petty issues got resolved, I think, but the generation of the ISO failed. Tried in VMware. So I got open box installed already in the uh, virtual machine. So let's run through the builder and set up a uh, respin for uh, open box. Okay, and here we are on the uh, virtual machine. You can see I got the uh, open box desktop environment installed. And I've barely recently installed it. You can see uptime is only five minutes. So I just recently installed it. And this is on the uh, latest uh, beta seven. So let's go ahead and uh, build a customized respan. So I'll go ahead and click on the button on the welcome screen control center. And this is open box. So I'll select the open box builder. And it opens up the uh, dialog. So we'll click on continue. Then from here, we'll go ahead and set our theme. So this will open up LX Appearance for us. And on LX Appearance, we'll choose a theme that we want to install. So in this case, I want to do a, let's do a uh, Arc Dark. And for the icon theme, we'll do a, we'll do a Bloom Dark. I'll click on Apply. And I'll go ahead and close this. Uh, let me open up a folder and see if the theme it took. And it did. We got the Got the icons and everything changed. So, all right. Now let me set my wallpaper. So open up uh, nitrogen in this case because it is open box. I'll just select this uh, wallpaper right here. Click on apply. And I'll go ahead and close this. And I'll click on continue. And just for the sake of this video, just to make it quicker, I'm just going to select test. So T-E-S-T. T-E-S-T. T E S T T E S T. So everything's just being called test. All right, now for the images, I'm just gonna black them out. Or to make it inciting, I'll just give them a neon color. But you'll see how I'll do that now. It opens up all the images that you need to edit. So I'll just put a layer mask on top. And then uh, for the color, let's just make it clean and dirty. We'll go with that. So I'll just. Uh, do that to all of the images. All right, this is the final one. It's three in total. All right, now all I got to do is just overwrite. So overwrite that one. Overwrite. And we're going to overwrite the final one. And I'm done with the images. So I can go ahead and close that. All right, then I'll click on continue and now I'll just build my ISO image. So from here, I'll just give it my password and let it go through it. And you can see right here, it's going to build the ISO. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video. And then when we come back, we'll be ready to reboot into our customized spin. Okay, the builder is now complete and you can see it gives you the location of the uh, file where it was sent to. But there's also a button right here that you can just click on and it'll open it up. And there it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this over to my system. Then I'll open it up in uh, another virtual machine. Okay, we have the ISO loaded up now. And you can see I just uh, put this solid color on all the images. So the installer and the welcome screen, they're going to have that same pink image. And the ISO is booted up now. And you can see right here, it's the image, the way we set it up. And there's a button right here to begin installation. So we'll go ahead and click that. And we'll go through the installation process. And so far on the ISO right now for the installer, the daemon is on here also too. So I'll just click on proceed. Set up my disk configuration. Set up my time zone. Then I'll just install. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause the video. And then when we come back, we'll take a look at the system itself. Installation is now completed on our custom respin. So let's go ahead and reboot the system.
Okay, we are rebooting now. And you can see right here the theming has stuck, the wallpaper has stuck, the new respin ISO completed successfully and it installed successfully. So it's all set in place now. Let's take a look at the icon theme. Yeah, the icon theme is in place. So yeah, the theme in, the icon theme, everything pretty much uh, transferred over. So this is the open box uh, environment. So for that one person that left me the uh, the comment saying that uh, he couldn't generate the ISO. Um, I don't know, maybe that's an issue with uh, VMware. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, you can see here, we did it with OpenBox and it all transferred over successfully. So it's all completed with no issues. All right, just want to show you that uh, it is working. And I'm gonna release this one as 7.1 and I'm gonna make another video to show some other features that I've added to it. So beta 7.1 is gonna have some other features that I'm gonna showcase in another video. But that's gonna do it for this video here. All right, you guys, and I'm out.